Hey, what's up everyone, and welcome to my review for World War Z, or if you're Canadian, World War Z. And of course, this is the big uh, movie adaptation to the huge, hugely popular book called World War Z from 2006, and many people have been criticizing this movie before it even came out because it's not really based on the book. I mean, it's, you know, it's named after the book, everybody's saying it is an adaptation of the book, but... You watch a trailer, you can read the synopsis, you obviously know it's not. Now, I never read the book myself, but I was watching the trailer, and I, my complaint wasn't that it's not an adaptation of the book. My complaint was the movie just did not look good, in my opinion. So, I was going in very skeptical. I heard very decent reviews for it. Not great, but really, you know, positive for the most part. So, I was going in with a little, a little anticipation, just a little bit. So... What did I think of World War Z starring Brad Pitt? Zombie movie with Brad Pitt? What could, it, how could, how good could it be? Let's talk about the story. All right, so the story for World War Z follows Brad Pitt's character Gary Lane, who is a former UN United Nations employee. And in the beginning, he has his wife, he has his two children. He has a decent life for the most part. He loves his family, whatever. It doesn't matter because it gets straight into it. The zombie apocalypse hits Philadelphia where he lives and just pandemonium just just everywhere, everywhere. People are running away, stuff is blowing up, he's trying to get his family out of there. He notices people changing into zombies, he has to get his family out of there. And luckily he still has a few contacts from United Nations and he gets his family out of there. But of course, to keep his family in the United Nations, to keep them safe, he has to actually go out there and find out where the origin of the zombie outbreak break took place. Where was it? How can we find the cure? If we could find Subject Zero, maybe, maybe we can find a cure. So that's pretty much the story. I explained it pretty quickly. He has to go and travel pretty much around the world finding the cure for the zombie apocalypse. That's, that's pretty much the story. It's very simple, straight up. He has to go to many places, bad things happen, meets many different characters, zombies attack, Woo, that's the story. Now, even though the story itself isn't anything spectacular, it's not going to take any twists or turns, you kind of know where it's going to go. I still really enjoyed it because I really like the characters. I was very worried about Brad Pitt in this film. Every trailer, every clip, every freaking picture I see of this guy in this film has been just him staring, just like, just staring. Not, not emoting at all, just staring. So I was very, very worried that Brad Pitt was just doing this for money. He didn't care about the script. And from what I've heard, this movie had a lot of script, <laughs> it's a lot of script problems. So I was a little worried that his performance was gonna kinda suck. But he did a great job here as Gary Lane. You can tell he really cares about his family. He's very energetic in the film. Uh, you really do like his character. And I, I love Brad Pitt, don't get me wrong. But I was very, very, very worried that he wasn't going to be good. And luckily his character is likable and so is he. Now this is my main problem with the story and the acting now. The side characters are really good as well. The thing is, is that they don't use them too much. They get rid of them so quickly in this film. Now let me give you uh, an example. David Morse's character, who is this this uh, 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 ex-CIA agent that pretty much, I guess, went rogue. I, they don't really explain it too good, but his character is locked in a cage. He, he, it looks like he sharpened his teeth. He went crazy. That character is actually interesting. They spent a good three minutes with him, which kind of sucks. Uh, there's another character played by James Badge Dale, who is a... a the head of a spec ops unit or something like that and his character just goes away quick like that he's just gone and i i didn't like what they did with some of the side characters one actor in particular matthew fox if you're a big lost fan he played jack the main character and you'd think he would actually have a pretty big role his character is blink if you blink and you'll miss him you will miss him his character name is para jumper he doesn't even have a name his character is there maybe 20 seconds and again blink and you'll miss him which i thought that was just whoa but besides that the side characters are still pretty pretty likable for the most part. There is one character later on in the film, a, a female soldier, that I really liked and she was there for the most part. So there is some really good side characters that are used, you know, pretty well, but there's also a lot of them that are just, you know, thrown away and they shouldn't be because they're really, really interesting. So for the most part, the characters are really good here. The story itself, while no twists and turns, is still very enjoyable, very fast paced, and I really like the acting. I thought the acting here was very well done. 
And while I would have loved to have seen a very violent version of World War Z with Brad Pitt, a rated R version, it's PG-13, but it does a damn good job of making it feel like a zombie apocalypse happened. In the beginning, when the outbreak happens and Brad Pitt's trying to get his family out of there, it does feel very, very tense. It has a, a good amount of tension in there, and you don't want to see anybody get hurt. And it does a good job of showing all the other people around Brad Pitt trying to just struggling trying to get out alive and it's not a very fun happy film no it does show people getting bit and get people getting attacked people dying and it does a good job of making you really care and there's plenty of scenes that are kind of like that uh, I would say the main three middle beginning and end have great tension throughout and the special effects while they're not great they are definitely better than they were in the trailer and there is not too many scenes where the special effects come into play there is one really big scene in uh, Israel I think and that's pretty much where you see the the guys climbing over the build the, the wall and climbing up to try to get the helicopter and yes that's very special effects heavy and it doesn't look that great but again it doesn't go it doesn't last too long and the camera shows a little bit then zooms back out into you know Brad Pitt's reaction or something and it doesn't show too much of that and even though the special effects aren't great some of those scenes are actually pretty badass especially the the wall climbing thing it goes on way longer than it does in the trailer and it looks pretty badass so overall I think World War Z while it has problems side characters are just you know they disappear out of nowhere the story itself is pretty you know you know where it's gonna go and the ending itself isn't that great I still really enjoyed World War Z I enjoyed myself I would give this a 33 out of a 40 fun film definitely better than I thought it was gonna be and maybe we'll get a sequel who knows I'm pretty sure it's gonna do pretty good at the box office so there you go there's my review I hope you enjoyed it thank you and goodbye